Hey guys, it's Travis with Kepler Design Company and we just installed a 2.56 kW off-grid solar system on this tumbleweed tiny house. Let's go check it out. All right, let's head inside our tiny house. So we'll start with the brains of our system here. We have a Victron Energy Quattro 48 volt 3000 VA. This system is connected with a Lynx shunt as well as a Lynx DC distribution system. On the top, we have two Victron Energy MPPT 120 charge controllers. And all of this is being charged and controlled by a Serbo GX. This Serbo is connected to our touchscreen up here and we have our system connected on the VRM portal. On the battery side, we have a Fortress Power E-Flex. This is a 5.4 kilowatt hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Back outside now. This tiny house has eight Yingli 320 watt 60 cell monocrystalline solar modules mounted on it. There's four on this side and four on the other side. Let's see if we can put this system to the test. We're nearing our float voltage so we're not getting a whole lot of input into the battery right now. And our idle system, the lights and fan and a few other things that we have going, are outputting 112 watts right now. They're planning to run a portable AC unit in this tiny house, so let's go ahead and fire that up and see what it does. Put this on turbo cool, what should give us the highest output here. Might take a minute for that compressor to kick on. Ah, I think it kicked on already. We're up to 774 watts. Let's go ahead and fire up the microwave. There we go. That got us up to 1815 watts. Let's make sure all the fans and lights and everything else is on. Got our loft light on up there, our ceiling fans going, our range lights and fan are on. We were up to 1900 there for a second. Let's start the microwave again. Nineteen oh eight is about as fast up there, nineteen oh nine. I guess my big PC is also charging, so it's pulling some power. Nineteen ten, nineteen fifteen. I think this is passing the test. So let's talk about why I selected the components that I selected when designing this system. First off, let's start with the Victron energy components. These are top-of-the-line components that integrate very nicely. They all talk to each other. Most of them have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi technology built into them, so you can control them and set them up with your phone, as well as the VRM portal, which allows me to monitor the system remotely as an installer. So if the owner ever calls and says there's an issue, I can look it up online and troubleshoot and change some settings remotely. That's a huge advantage for me so I can always see what the system is doing. Let's move over to the battery side. I went with the Fortress Power E-Flex because it is a great package. This gives us very compact size and it produces an, a very high output. Um, the lithium, lithium iron phosphate chemistry isn't as dense as some of the NMC chemistries, but it, it definitely is a lot safer and it can charge and output at higher currents. So that's definitely an advantage. I selected this E-Flex for Fortress Power because the package size is great. 
the, the dollar per kilowatt hour that you get from purchasing this lithium iron phosphate battery is about the best that you can find in the market. I've also worked extensively with their tech support and sales team and we've been working on developing some closed loop communication with the Victron components. It's always great when you can connect with the techs and they're actually there and responsive and willing to work with you and help develop things to help improve their products. This has been a great advantage for me and a, a lasting relationship that I've built with Fortress Power. Guys, this Victron install paired with the Fortress Power E-Flex has been a wonderful install. This is a pretty compact package. We had to fit it in a tiny house, so everything had to be tiny. This worked out really well. I was able to modularize a bunch of the components and build them in my garage and then come and install them with a bunch of stuff pre-wired, so that made things go a lot more smoothly. The majority of the work here was getting the solar mounted on the roof.